Hey guys, it's Sasha. Trading to One Two have just reopened in the UK after 19 months of being closed to new customers. So should you go and sign up to one of the cheapest brokers out there, or is there a good reason to avoid trading to One Two? And what the heck happened? Because it sure is weird when an investing platform stops taking on new customers altogether for a year and a half. Well, here is everything that you need to know about trading to One Two. What happened, and my take on the reopening of one of the most popular new brokers in the UK and Europe. Back in January 2021, Trading212 suddenly stopped taking on new accounts. It was the peak of the covid fueled global investing frenzy as new investors flooded in with their stimmy checks in the US and furlough money in the UK. And on the 28th of January 2021, the GameStop short squeeze saga hit its peak as the share price skyrocketed to over $500 or $125 split adjusted in today's money. That's about 3000% up in under a month and completely coincidental and in no way related to the GameStop saga and everything else going on at the time, on exactly the same day, Trading212 stopped taking on new accounts. For a completely different reason, the reason that Trading212 gave at the time was that they needed to scale up their infrastructure and expand the customer service team. As weeks, months and years rolled by, the cynic in you would probably wonder how long it takes to hire a few more customer service staff and upgrade your cloud hosting package. And you would perhaps wonder whether maybe the issue was something else. Now, some people on YouTube suggested that upgrading a server is an unlikely excuse for a fast growing company to completely stop taking on new customers for several months. And the far more likely scenario is that, you know, maybe the company had run into issues with the regulators who stopped them from taking on new accounts because the UK arm of Trading212 maybe was not separate enough from the Bulgarian parent company and didn't satisfy FCA's funding requirements. Now, at the time, this maybe sounded strange because Trading212 Trading to One Two fast became extremely popular because it was a completely free platform. But credit where credit is due, Trading to One Two went to work fixing these issues. First, Trading to One Two went and got their broker license in Cyprus, which was granted in March 2021. And shortly after that, in August 2021, Trading to One Two reopened to their European customers. So that got resolved relatively quickly. The UK regulators, though, are a little bit more probing than their Cypriot cousins. So Trading to One Two had to put in a little bit more work to reopen in the UK, and it took a year longer. First, the UK CEO Nick Saunders left in March 2021 and was then replaced by a brand new entire boardroom. Trading212 hired seven new company directors into the UK arm from September 2021 to August 2022 and will apparently have 70 staff based in London by the end of September. And it sounds like they have now ticked whatever boxes it was that they needed to tick with the FCA and they've now reopened registrations for new accounts a few days ago. And here is the shameless plug for anyone who wants to sign up and try the platform out, you can go and use the link in the description to get yourself a free share worth up to £100. Now, you need to sign up and make a deposit within 10 days to get your free share, so make sure you adhere to the terms. Now, the question is, should you go and sign up? Well, there are a few things to consider. First, it sure looks like Trading212 had some issues in the past and their communication was maybe lacking somewhat as they didn't really give any meaningful updates whatsoever or explain anything to their customers about what was happening with the company. Maybe they had good reasons why, you know, it's not a good look if there were issues that they were resolving, but it looks like Trading212 have now resolved and fixed all of these issues and are back in the game. The company makes a good amount of money with their CFD product. This is a trading product where you can gamble on short-term movements in stock prices, and there is a legally mandated disclaimer that every company that offers these has to show, which says that most people who try CFDs lose money, and this is exactly how Trading212 makes their money. So on the one hand, Trading212 offers you a very cheap and simple investing product, but on the other hand, they can afford to do that because they know that a proportion of their customers, proportion of you, will eventually go and gamble with playing CFDs and lose their shirt. The good news is that while some other investing apps are trying to figure out how to break even though, this business model seems to make Trading212 a decent enough amount of money that they can continue offering a relatively cheap service for the investing in ISA products. I also have to give Trading212 props for taking criticism and addressing their issues unlike some of the other platforms that 
cry like babies the moment someone dares say something bad about them. I am sure that Trading212 did not like the criticism at the time that was coming from many different directions, but instead of trying to silence that criticism and perhaps take advantage of being a big spender on YouTube to attack the channels they didn't like, they did not do that and instead let the criticism come and worked to fix their issues and improve the platform. So again, credit where credit is due, this is pretty good. But hey, a lot has happened since Trading212 have closed down. There are now other platforms in town offering more competition. Trading212 only charges you 0.15% foreign exchange fees on every transaction you make that isn't in your home currency, so pounds in the UK or euros in the EU. So if you live in the UK, for example, and buy US stocks, you'll have to pay the 0.15% every time you buy or sell a stock, and that can add up over time. But there are now platforms like Lightyear where you can go and buy those same US stocks completely for free for transactions of up to £3,000 a month. And yeah, I have an affiliate link for Lightyear in the description as well. I have an affiliate link for each and single one of those platforms and you can get $10 if you follow the link and use my code, blah, blah, blah. But Lightyear only offers US stocks on their platform and Trading212 also let you invest in ETFs, UK stocks and stocks from other countries. So that is quite a big benefit. And if you want to buy an ETF priced in pounds on Trading212, then you don't have to pay anything Thing at all, no fees whatsoever. So investing in the S&P 500 is completely free and better still, Trading212 also offer an ISA, which is also completely free. So if you just want to invest in the S&P 500 inside an ISA, which is probably the best option for 99% of people out there, we all know it and we all don't do it, then Trading212 is still completely free to go and do that, to invest in the S&P 500 inside an ISA. And Trading212 are the only investing platform in the UK that let you invest in the S&P 500 inside an ISA completely for free, while also offering you the option of buying individual your stocks if you want to, and that is a very important point to make. Unfortunately, if you're not based in the UK or the EU, then registrations are still closed and you still can't go and sign up, and there is no update as to when or if they will reopen. Trading212 is not supported at all in some countries like the United States, but if you live in many other countries around the world, or if you are a penguin in Antarctica, then you can sign up for the waiting list for whenever registrations do reopen. For full disclosure, I still have a bunch of my money sat on the Trading212 platform. I have used a number of different platforms over time and I still have money on some of them and I still have a relatively decent chunk invested with Trading212 in various different accounts, mostly because that's where I previously held my ICES. I was considering taking the hit on fees and moving money out when, you know, Trading212 shut down new registrations, started issuing new terms and conditions every week, but there have been a few issues over the past year that didn't really help that thinking as well. Trading212 did a bait and switch by introducing the 0.15% FX fee after everyone signed up for the free platform, which wasn't good itself. So I guess there is a risk that they might go and do that again, maybe increase the fee further, maybe start charging for the ISA or something else. But then again, do we know that the other platforms are not going to do exactly the same thing at some point? And 0.15% that it is right now is still very, very cheap. And a few days ago, Trading212 introduced a new policy where you have a limit on how how much you can own of some stocks. These limits seem incredibly odd and I've not seen anything like this on any other platform. It is stock by stock. They sent an email that says exactly what will apply. They say it will apply to all stocks, but the list seems to only show stocks trading on the London Stock Exchange at the moment. I guess these limits were made up by some intern as part of a risk management strategy because they don't really make much sense. They seem extremely arbitrary. They're not around in any way whatsoever. Many of these are penny stocks, so you probably probably will never notice those limits exist, but it does seem very silly to let you buy a stock and then tell you you can only invest up to a maximum of $50. What is the point? And the worst part is you can't even buy the $50 in one go. You have to make five separate transactions of $10 each. The big companies like Barclays or BAE Systems or Shell have limits of $5 million. I'm not quite sure what the point of having that limit is. I'm guessing not many people will break it. And if they do, does that really matter, but hey ho. But if you want to invest in a smaller UK company like Team17, for example, you have this limit of 4,205 shares or $23,000. So you need to pay attention. Now, 
these are relatively minor points. It does look like Trading 22 has finally turned a corner, which is great news for UK and European investors. The FCA and the European regulators are obviously happy enough that Trading 22 have been given the green light to onboard new customers, and that adds another investing app for you to choose from. It increases competition. The more of these new cheap investing platforms that are available, the better the competition and the products available to all of us. Remember, you can go and grab yourself a free share worth of 200 pounds by using my link in the description if you want to try the platform out. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you guys later.